Kaas here and welcome to The Meter by Novalab. And thanks to Novalab for supporting the channel today by sponsoring this video. Now, this is gonna be a very special game because it's the first VR game built from the ground up for mixed reality. Meaning, it's gonna fully make use of my physical environment and in my case that's uh, my living room right here and as you can see i already mapped it out so the game knows where my walls are where my tv is my furniture my couch my table <laughs> all kinds of stuff even the plants over there so um it should make use of that so let's get started and i'll show you what that's like oh <laughs> wow what is this whoa Oh no, what's happening? Echo, help me! What? Atlanta, Am I Echo? Oh. Lost you. Can you hear me? oh my goodness. I'm crashing down I don't know what's going on. What's Can I save her? Atlanta, do you call oh. me? Um, not sure if I sh was supposed to save her. So you found yourself in control of a person while you sit Hysteria, there peacefully Echo, in your living room. Can't you see I'm on the ground? Stand me up! What? Echo! <laughs> Why did you get me Oh up? my gosh! Where are you? Oh, oh hey! Ugh. Echo! If this is a joke, it sucks! Here we go. Who the heck are you? Was that you standing oh. me up? Don't be scared. Right, I hope you can hear me. <sighs> I'm Atalanta, and obviously you're the one moving me about. Yes, I can. Job, but I think she lost the link, and you somehow latched onto it. Listen, pilot, you'll have to help me find my ship. It should be close by. I hope it's not too damaged. I intend to head back as soon as my mission here is accomplished. Okay. So this is my uh, little hero, Antalanti. She's the protagonist of this story. Um, and I can move her around using traditional face balance, joystick. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, I love how it's using my furniture right now. So the game is releasing today on the MetaQuest store on January 25th. And you can play this game using the MetaQuest 2, 3 and Pro, but I'm using the MetaQuest 3 because you know for its uh, color pass through magic. And let's see uh, what uh, we're supposed to do because Make this me jump girl... with A. B is useful for many other things. Uh, right. And jump with A. Well, this girl just landed, press <laughs> landed with her ship in my living room. Now she's on my furniture. And I guess I have to figure out what's going on exactly. And why she crash landed in my living room. Uh, I can use B to hit stuff. Using A I can jump. I can climb as well. And what is this? Looks like a portal. Oh! Oh! Where are you heading? Oh, you're a little bit far away into my kitchen here. If you cannot reach a platform, you can actually press Y. And you will enter accessibility mode. And then you can move the platform around just in case you cannot reach it. So let me quit. Nice, nice. As you can tell, this game is kind of a mix of a platformer with puzzles and press narrative. B to release my grip. <sighs> I can have to move around a lot to look at the platform, which I really enjoy actually. Uh, okay, how do I get over there? Probably have to jump. Oh yeah, I do. Let's wait until this goes away. Oh, I think that's a checkpoint. Now what? Okay, I can get over there. Okay, let's wait for that thing to uh, disappear. Here we go, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh no. <laughs> Yes, hurry, hurry, hurry. This okay, nightmare. now we are here. I should wake up eventually. It's the next portal. But there are signs on the portal. I wonder if that means the direction I should be going. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a big map, so 
because it uses your environment, this game should be random for each person. Like, it should be different for you because you have a different physical environment. Which I think is such a fun concept. Oh, you're really Am I supposed to hit this? <gasps> I'll call you Thor. What? She thinks it's cute and I just hit it. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Okay, wait, well, I'm supposed to go. Let's open the map. All right, so you can see the map here and there are the signs of the portals. Okay, uh, I guess I need to move on. Oh, let me sit on my couch for a sec. <laughs> oh. Let's go down. Let's jump. Oh! I wonder why are you actually helping me, pilot? Well, you are in my living room, so I need to figure out why you're here. No. Oh, my ship really suffered. There's no chance of her taking off like this. Is this my ship? Echo? Or your ship? Echo! Do you copy? Echo? How shall Who's we Echo? Do this? All right. I. We should start by getting it back in shape, pilot. And to achieve that, we'll need three shards of sap. With a bit of luck, there are enough of them on this planet. Well, we should get going. Okay. We have to find sap. To fix this uh, ship, so let's get to it. Let's go here. Hmm, what is this? this? Looks a bit like your controllers. What would happen oh. if I hit it? Still, I'd like to know. Oh, I can use my controller. Oh yeah. Oh, it yeah. all began oh. with a singularity, a dot in the fabric of the cosmos, a fluctuation of time and space that brought about a unique element. A form of pure energy, a crystal. As the eons passed, it fragmented and divided into seven independent shards. One such shard wandered between the darkness of the void and the light of the stars. Soaking up both, it eventually reached an equilibrium, becoming what I am today, a balance between light and obscurity. A singular consciousness. What? Me. Echo's an AI. A self-conscious uh, one. Are That's you cool. all right, pilot? Uh, you seemed frozen. That was weird. That was weird. Why did I see that story? But I really do love it. There's just a story element in this game. Love these environments, by the way. <laughs> love being able to lean in, walk around it. Get a closer look, crouch around. A little bit of a workout without feeling like so, <laughs> which I really adore. Whoa! This is such a huge level, guys! Damn! Oh, I just love how these levels ex like that must be the place where the source of the crystal is. Pilot, we'll need to fix that thing. From what I've been told, the crystal we received on my planet started to deteriorate precisely when that thing was destroyed. <laughs> I made it. I wanted to say that I love how these levels evolve. Beautiful. Okay, well, I wonder where I have to go now, though. Let's see. There's a shard over here, so let's grab it. Oh, I think we need to hit this. Whoa. Hey, Whoa. ancestors, now that's something Echo can't do. What? Ow. That's one impressive Whoa. prismalite. That's awesome. Oh, I need to actually point at it. Or else it will disappear. Oh, but I love that I can help Yippee! my little protagonist this way. Okay, okay. I got this. Come on, Cass. Okay, they need three hits. At least he's still alive. Oh! Hmm. The crystal seems unstable. That's unexpected. Oh my gosh, guys! Take me up this there. This is pretty so I can insane. Love it. Uh. Oh, how did I get up there? Okay, I think I need to get over there. Let's walk around the platform. Get over here. What is this beam? I can just climb up here. And now we can move forward. 
Uh oh. This is dangerous. Oop, oop, oop. Here we go. Yeah. The pathway also disappears, so it's even more <laughs> dangerous. I need to time this right. Here we go. Ha! Okay. Now I can use my superpowers to help her out. Let's make sure she doesn't fall. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Uh oh. Okay, I need to wait. I'm down. Wait patiently. Let's go, let's go. Pythias. Almost there. Huh? Log of Pythias the Traveler. Okay, I can't see, I can't see. Let's move, move, move. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh gosh, you need good hand orientation here. Eye and hand orientation. Mm. Oh, shh. Shoot, shoot. No, don't die. Yes, checkpoint. Thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Not a shard. Lots of uh, dangerous paths. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think we're here. Oh, let's destroy this. Like I said, I'm gonna spoil everything here. Again? And <laughs> You're not going to vanish on me, pilot, are you? Oh god. When you touch these gems after I okay. hit them, it's like you disappear for a moment. And that's not exactly reassuring. Ooh, those red things appear as well when I use my controller. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Look, pilot. The crystal is put together, but it's still damaged there. We must keep looking for a solution. My superior told me about a place where we can communicate with the planet. I assume he meant some sort of database. That's inside the city, I think. Besides, I'm so sure of the sap shards to be able to fly back. Are you still with me, pilot? Yes, baby, I am with you. Of course. We've got a bond now. Oh, look at that. It's a teleportation. Oh. Oh, I have to shoot it. <laughs> oh, no, this is the wrong direction. Pass. Okay, like that. <laughs> That's not what we do. Here we go. Oh, chapter two. So let's end it here and move to the outro. That was the meter, the Asclepius Chronicles, the first puzzle platformer for MetaQuest built for mixed reality, one that actually reacts to your play space. Many VR games have MR modes now, but only offer a simple pass-through view, while the meter is built with MR in mind. So I just love how they procedurally generate maps based on your room's layout, which also means my gameplay will be different than yours as most likely your room is different. And there's something magical about having a game world placed on top of your furniture and being able to walk around it, lean in to look at stuff more closely, and being able to manipulate the environment using your own hands. I like that the game gradually reveals new abilities for you to help your little friend. It's able to create a fun, more personal bond with the protagonist. Now the brains behind this game is Novalab. These folks are no strangers to weaving engaging XR narratives as seen in their previous work like Notes of Blindness. And their storytelling experience seems to carry over to this game as well. Now, I've only scratched the surface with just the first chapter, but it has made me curious to see where this story leads. The meter does offer a compact 4 hours of gameplay and priced at $19.99, it is a bit expensive, but I think it strikes a balance between price, innovation, and content. The meter is available now on the MetaQuest store, check it out using the link below. So are you planning to dive into the meter's unique world? Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe to never miss anything. Again, big shout out to Novalab for not only crafting this unique experience, but also for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. And VR on!